welcome to this tutorial on using Match EQ in Equivocate. For starters, let's hear the track that we're working on. I like how it sounds, but it feels like the master is missing something. Let's listen to a reference track from Fluxion. That's more the sound that I'm looking for for my master. I've got an instance of Newfangled Audio Equivocate on the master with the Fluxion track, the reference track, going in through the sidechain. You can do this with VST3. When I enable Match EQ while both the reference track is playing in and my track is playing, I'll be able to hear Equivocate in real time match the EQ of my track to the EQ of the reference track. This sounds good. It's giving me a lot of interesting decisions that I wouldn't have made myself. I'm going to take down maybe some of the boosts in the lows, but the boosts in the highs and the high mids are really something I might not have thought of otherwise, in addition to some of the cuts in the mids. I'm just going to change things a tiny bit more to my taste here, and then we'll see how this sounds. I'm also going to try using the range control to modify how much the EQ is affecting in terms of decibels per filter. We can really hear the effect that Match EQ is making if we try listening to things on then off. Grab a free demo of the Newfangled Audio Elevate Suite from newfangledaudio.com.